सो गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे विल बी सेइंग द एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन कैम जंप फिनोमेना सो बेसिकली दिस इज आवर कैम एनालिसिस मशीन सो हियर वी कैन सी दैट दिस इज आवर कैम एंड दिस इज द फॉलोअर वी कैन सी दैट वी आर हैविंग अ रोलर टाइप ऑफ फॉलोअर इन दिस वन एंड दिस इज द कैम सो व्हाट हैपेंस इज व्हेन वी आर रोटेटिंग दिस कैम वी कैन सी दैट वी आर गेटिंग अ reciprocatory motion at the follower now first of all we have to find uh, the profile of this cam so how to find the profile we can find the profile by using a technique <coughs> where we are going to attach a dial gauge like this so you know that the dial gauge will be having or this dial gauge is having 0.01 mm as the least common so we will be attaching the dial gauge at its top like this so now we have attached the dial gauge on this one so what the dial gauge will do is it will be measuring how much deflection it will be making when we are rotating this cam by certain angle so on this side Uh, we can say that here we are having a scale so on this scale we are having 0 to 360 degrees and we are attaching the dial gauge here so when i am giving a rotation to this cam we can see that the dial gauge will be making the motion now what i want is i will be rotating the cam through one full revolution starting from 0 to 360 degrees and in intervals of 20 degrees then we will note down the deflection whatever we are getting at the dial gauge so by drawing deflection as the y axis and rotation of the cam as the x axis we will be getting a curve that will be called as the displacement diagram for this cam so like this this is one part so uh, i will be showing you the details uh, detailed readings later so for the time being we will be only understanding that like this we will be finding the profile of the cam so this is one part now coming to the <coughs> next part of the experiment that is the cam jump see what is jump uh, the cam is always attached to the follower so the attach uh, the contact between cam and follower should be always established for a smoother operation but sometimes what happens is due to inertia when the cam is rotating the contact between cam and follower is lost for a fraction of time so during that time what happens is the follower will be coming and hitting on the surface of the cam like this if you are looking here see when i am rotating slowly you can see that there is a proper motion of the cam and follower now we will start the motor and see now you can see that the cam is rotating smoothly the contact between cam and follower is perfectly established now if i am increasing the speed now can you hear anything my so we are observing the heating noise like this so whatever the heating noise we are observing that phenomena is called as the cam jump so the cam jump depends upon if you want i can show once again So now there is no cam jump. It is working smoothly. Now, if I am increasing the speed, you can see that the cam is uh, losing the contact between its follower. <coughs> so this phenomenon is called as the cam jump. So there are basically certain things which are responsible for the cam. Now here we can see one spring. It is having certain stiffness. if the stiffness of this is more then what will happen it will be constantly pressing towards the down side so that the contact will be maintained and similarly if we are keeping certain loads like this on this cam and then operating then what will happen 
the downward force whatever we are applying will be larger so that the cam jump can be reduced if i am putting one more load what happens again the downward force is more so like this the cam jump is a phenomena where we the contact between cam and follower is lost for certain time or certain fraction of time and to avoid the cam jump what we can do is we can increase the load in the y direction or increase the stiffness of the spring or reduce the speed also we should avoid the sharp edges at the cam so like this uh, this is our second experiment regarding the cam jump phenomenon